Sometimes our queries will not return data as expected. And it's not easy way to find out where is the problem exactly, especially when you have a long queries. In this video, I'm trying to show you how to debug a query which contains function and store procedure. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's assume we want to debug this query. For starting the debugger, we have two ways. Either we go to start the debugging inside the debug menu or pressing Alt plus F5. Let's start the debugging by pressing start debugging. Now, the debugger is started and we are at the second line in our query which is execute spget customers. We have two options. Either we step into the store procedure or step over the store procedure. Step into is F11 and step over is F10. The step into will go inside the store procedure and debug line by line. And step over will execute the store procedure and goes to the next line and you will not see what happens inside the store procedure. So if I select step over, it will automatically go to the next line and we are done. But let's start the debugging again and let's select the step into. As you can see now we are inside the store procedure and here set the no count on and if we select the step over, we will go to the selected which may select it one row, two row, it's uh, n number of rows. Now, also we have a function here. So we can step into the function or over the function. As you can see, if we step over the function, it will return us all the, all the rows from the selected query and goes back to the main query. But if we select into, it will go inside the function, as you can see. And we can say, let's say, step over, step over. Here also we have locals, which shows all the local parameters with their values and data types. The ID is 1, which is integer. The count is 2, which is integer. And the name is customer1, which is invarcar. Now we done for the first row, but maybe our store procedure returns more than one row. So if you want to continue row by row debugging, so you can continue step into, it will go to the next ID, which is ID number two. And if you continue, it will show you the name. And if you continue, it will, it will get the counts. And again, if you step into it, it will again go to the next record, which is ID number three. And you can say step over, step over. Another interesting thing is here it shows all the variables. For long queries, maybe you have tens of hundreds of variables. And you may focus on some of them. So you, what you can do, you can go to watch number one and you can write the id of the variable it will show you look for example name and you have four tabs watch number one two three and four you can add it so you can customize it as your need is and it will show you the name value and data type of the required variables now we have debugged three records so far. Let's say we don't want to debug any other records. So we say step over. It will go back to the store procedure, which we are, which we done with the select command. And we are now at the print end of the store procedure line. And we can say step over. It will finish the store procedure and goes to the next line, which is select done. And we can say step over, we are done. 
all right guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos turn on the notification hit that like button if you liked it and if you did not like it write it down in the comment section i like to have a friendly discussion see you in the next video bye